My name is Camilla Sedendal and I work at Destination Sigtuna. I'm Jörn Jonsson, I'm the proud owner and the CEO of this conference hotel, together with another conference hotel in Sigtuna, of course. My name is Fredrik Jarsved, I work here at Stockholm Island Airport as Head of Sustainable Development and Quality Assurance. Uh, my name is Marie Tegnefjord and I uh, am a farmer or a social entrepreneur. My name is Maria Tilburg and I'm the general manager of Redisom Blue uh, Sky City Hotel and Redisom Blue Arlandia Hotel. My name is Roland Ek and uh, I'm director of sustainability at Becker's Group. Turboj Kjetkovic, uh, CEO of Svedavia, Swedish airports. The one word that describes Sigtuna is the meeting place. You know, Sigtuna was founded as Sweden's first town over a thousand years ago. Erik the Victorious came here. He had a vision to build a country under one god and one king, and the king was to be himself, of course. He built this town and he gathered people from all over and realized that if you want to build something new, you have to meet and you have to talk and you have to convince people of your visions for the future. And that's what we've been doing for over a thousand years and now we meet again uh, in Sigtuna and we think about how are we going to meet the challenges of today a thousand years later. Uh, it strengthens your backbone of course to, to be a part of the thousand years old tradition of meetings because Sigtuna was created 980 to, to start to have meetings together with the king and we still create meetings but also it gives you responsibility to take care of what will this place be in thousand years. Will it still exist? How will it exist? And this is very important to, to use, uh, to think on the sustainability issues. Yeah, if, if we look at our own business, um, it's, we can clearly see that it's very, very complex. Um, and there's a, a lot of pieces in the puzzle that needs to fit together. So if we don't work together on the solution, there will not be a solution because you cannot take it bit by bit. When you're working with sustainability issues, that is some, not something that you can work with alone. Uh, you need other partners because we are all responsible for different areas. So cooperation between different parties, like the airport and like the municipality, is of vital importance in order to get uh, good results from your activities that you are performing. I think also talking about a strong cooperation, a strong partnership, of course we don't agree on all questions. And we have different agendas in certain aspects, which is natural. But I think the important thing is to find ways to actually realize that we have a win-win situation here if we cooperate. And we have to do it as some kind of trading. Sometimes we win a little bit here and then we lose in the other end if you are looking at our own agenda. But also we can see that our cooperation has been successful and we are actually gaining both parties. We become much stronger when we work together. 20 hotels making a project on climate neutral and neutralization. That's a very good... We can't do that single, one at a time, but we have to do it together. It's stronger when we come out yeah. as 20 hotels mm. doing something for the environment than one single hotel doing something. It has a much larger impact. Nobody can do everything, but ev everybody can do something. And that's why it's so important for us in Sigtuna to work together and cooperate uh, around sustainability. We are using uh, electricity from hydropower only. And the garbage we sort in 17 different fractions. We have focused uh, on bringing more passengers over to public transport by train, by buses. Uh, we don't use any plastic or any one-time article in our breakfast collecting our, all our biodegradable waste and uh, converting that into biogas. Minimizing use of, for instance, oil-based uh, raw materials. What kind of food do we buy? What kind of meat do we buy? Mangold, uh, coriander, mint and uh, onion, a lot of onions and uh, pumpkins, watermelons. A combined heat and power plant that's uh, powered by biofuel green approaches or continuous descent approach as it's called in, in aviation terms. Uh, this means that uh, they will fly like a glider on idle thrust uh, from top of descent all the way down to the runway. To have sustainability I would say we need everyone that's here. We need everyone in the society and we need to uh, 
minimize the gap between different social classes. We can't have sustainability if just one part of the world works with it. Um, we need to do it together and we need to learn from each other. We communicate our environmental work to our guests, uh, to our uh, customers, to our team members. We make them part of our environmental work and hopefully they bring it home. Uh, sort their garbage at home and uh, use energy saving light bulbs at home. Yeah, I think um, it's very important first of all to do your own homework. Uh, but it's equally important, I think, to inspire others also. So uh, saying that, we are happy if we can inspire with, with the work we are doing, but we are also equally happy to, to be inspired from others because uh, I think the, this is really the way to, to spread the message and, and to get things done.